What exactly can I say? <laughs> For 22-year-old William Kamkwamba, this conference room at Georgetown University is a long way from home. He ended up here because of a little idea he had to bring electricity to his family in rural Malawi. After studying textbook diagrams at a small charity library, William, then 14, managed to piece together junkyard scraps and bicycle parts into a functioning, electricity-generating windmill without ever having seen the real thing. When I started, the people thought that I'm going crazy. And then to see that it was really working for me, it was a great moment for me that, wow, and now it's, it's, it's great, this thing is working. And uh, people started coming to charge their mobile phone, and then they were benefiting. Today, the high school senior who's completing his studies at a private academy in South Africa just finished touring the U.S. to promote a book that chronicles his story. As interest and investment in the development of wind energy technology soars across the world, students here were inspired by the spark that was born from books, sticks, odd parts of metal, and the creativity of an African boy who couldn't afford to attend school. I think the fact that he has so little resources to fulfill his dream and he was able to well, make it happen with what he had. William says when he first started, he just wanted electricity to pump water for his family's crops and to read at night. He didn't think about the environmental value of what he was doing. But now that he sees the potential of renewable resources, he has dreamed up his next project, a steam engine powered by a solar oven.